generating 860,000 pounds of thrust, the RD-180 engine ignites to lift the rocket away from the pad. Shortly after liftoff, Atlas begins a pitch over to attain the proper flight path while minimizing the dynamic pressure the rocket experiences during flight. Within the first minute and a half of flight, Atlas V reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound. The protoflight spacecraft, Kuipersat-1 and Kuipersat-2, are encapsulated inside a 5-meter diameter payload fairing, which is a sandwich composite structure made with a vented aluminum honeycomb core and graphite epoxy face sheets. At approximately three and a half minutes, the mighty Atlas crosses the Kármán line and enters space. Once the rocket has climbed above Earth's atmosphere, the payload fairing is jettisoned. As Atlas approaches the end of first stage flight, the rocket has already reached a LEO altitude under the power of the first stage booster. With the majority of propellant expended, the main engine shuts down, followed by release of the booster stage. The rocket now weighs a little more than 7% of what it did at liftoff and is poised for the upper stage to take over and provide the rest of the impulse needed to reach orbit. Kuipersat-1 and Kuipersat-2 are prototype satellites for Amazon's Project Kuiper, a low Earth orbit satellite network that will provide fast, affordable broadband to unserved and underserved communities around the world.